My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Vinyl, New Jersey, and I'm going to record um, the lies of false uh, pastor um, Tony Cotto. Um, so I'm actually going to um, let me just record this. So this is their post on June 29th at 5.31 p.m. on a Thursday, and uh, I'm going to record that for a second. Okay, so, and he's saying he wants um, the Jesus of the Bible. First of all, Jesus is not of the Bible. Um, Jesus is recorded about in the Bible, okay? Next, uh, you don't even not know if Jesus is true, a true prophet uh, of God. Oh, I'm sorry. You people sit there and say that Jesus is God and of the three-person trinity, which is just want to let you know that that is an anti-theist, atheist lie of the Roman Catholics to actually slander Jesus, Christianity, God, and the prophets. Okay? So, um, Peter did defend Jesus as a prophet of God, by the way. I was persecuted and excommunicated out of the uh, violent and Nazarene uh, Raymond Church, formerly known as the Violent First Church of Nazarene, in which they persecuted me and my children, destroyed uh, my family, um, as they threatened to do a number of times um, with their lies and their evil. Okay, so um, because they threatened to destroy me, by the way, uh, they went after my children because of their weakness or whatever, and to cause me a whole lot of grief and pain um, and trauma um, to torture me um, because I am of God and because Jesus is my brother. And and no, not my God. Um, so I have the same God that Jesus has. So the thing is, is this is a thing. They actually really believe that Jesus is evil. Um, the false version of Jesus they promote is actually against the true Jesus recorded about in the Bible. The Bible is an after effect, okay, um, with recordings of the spirit that was spoken um, by the Holy Spirit. Um, these fraudulent Pentecostals, which they had no relation to Pentecost, um, um, recorded about in the Bible whatsoever. Um, they basically claim their sorcery and witchcraft and uh, wizardry or whatever you want to call it. Wizardry, I don't know. Um, mediums or whatever. Um, is of uh, uh, the Holy Spirit and Christian. Uh, their, including their circus performing um, yeah, mediums, um, fortune tellers, which they falsely claim are prophets of God and they're prophesying. They are not prophesying. Um, they are blasphemous. Um, so the thing is, is that they are scammers or scamming people out of money. Uh, us ministers of God are not taking any money uh, from anybody for ourselves. If we take anybody money uh, from anybody, it will be to give or like Paul did or um, whoever to give to those in need. <laughs> okay, so will never go into our pocket whatsoever. There's no recording about that in the Bible whatsoever. Um, they are lying and falsely claiming that, uh, telling people to plant their seed of money um, and perverting the, the scripture, which the seed of faith is the word of God, not your money. If anybody's asking for your money, they are liars and they are automatically first false ministers and their minds are cursed because of their blasphemies and their scams. Okay? So, um, these people are uh, this uh, fraudulent uh, Pentecostal a chestnut assembly of so-called God, not the true God. Um, they are um, going through all the Bible passages that I actually use against their false, blasphemous, evil, antichrist teachings, by the way. And they still teach their false teachings, still scam people out of money, money and lie to people. Okay, they teach a false salvation, a false forgiveness. If you sit there and speak against their blasphemies and evils, like Jesus spoke against um, Pharisaic, um, irreligious uh, leaders like themselves, um, they will sit there and just say things like, oh, we don't war against flesh and blood, and they're claiming you're not allowed to speak against them, perverting that scripture, by the way, like they pervert all the scripture. Um, they are basically uh, copying my words because I spoke against and exposed them for twisting and perverting the scripture. So he goes behind his pulpit or on a stage or whatever. Whatever, um, sitting there claiming, oh, oh uh, people will pervert the scriptures and all these other things, why he's damning religion, falsely claiming the spirit of religion is a demon. Um, he's basically calling the spirit of Christ a demon, by the way. So um, um, he's, uh, 
he basically condemns um, Jesus' teachings um, to be perfect as your Holy Father in heaven is perfect. This is not a fle fleshy, fleshly uh, perfection. Uh, this is um, the Holy Spirit perfecting people and sanctifying people, okay, into righteousness, okay? Um, so he has condemned that from his stage um, and just uh, trying to pit the word of God against the true Jesus, um, Jesus said, those who deny my word, deny me. Um, the thing is he keeps lying over and over and over and running to lies. That is the desire of his heart. And that is exactly what he wants. And it is not Jesus. Okay. So, um, the thing is, I'm going to record, um, he slanders people from his pulpit. He has twisted uh, Jesus' teachings, by the way, perversely. And because I have recorded Jesus' teachings in which he said, have I um, done many wonders? Lord, Lord, uh, I'm sorry. And Jesus said, um, those who say to me, Lord, Lord, um, um, have we not um, done many wonders in your, in your name, many signs and um, cast out demons and, and things like that. And, uh, he said, I will get, I, I will say to you, depart from me, those who practice lawlessness. Um, so they twist that and claiming, Oh, well, you're lawless if you don't go to church, uh, because I won't go to their churches. I did. I had no problem going to their pagan churches. I will not be one with them. Um, they actually persecuted me inside their man-made church, outside of their man main church online, harassing me, slandering me, bullying me, by the way, this is what they teach their their uh, blind uh, false uh, followers to do, by the way. Um, like I said, though, they are getting a lot of people to sit there and copy all the Bible passages that I actually use against them and their evil false teachings. Um, if you hear, uh, then they will sit there and falsely judge and tell people you're not allowed to judge them, by the way. So, um, you know, uh, if you speak the holy uh, gospel uh, by the spirit of truth against them, they will sit there and, and make up, oh, you're criticizing. Uh, this is what the, how they bullied me when I visited their church to observe them, by the way. They have mocked me from basically going to about 30 churches, mostly in Vineland and on the outskirts of Vineland. Um, and basically made up a lie um, and twisted things backwards uh, that I'm seeking, like, I don't know, something like grace from them and all these other things or whatever. I am the church, by the way, and they are of the Antichrist. And I was investigating them, by the way, and observing what they teach and how they influence society for the good or for the bad. Okay? Um, and see what they had to present. So that's it. Um, so the thing is, and I go to them because they were Christian, because they're of faith. They are not of faith. They are not Christian of the Christian religion. They are lying and claiming that Christianity is not a religion. You are not Christian and no, you are not of the Christian religion and you're a liar. So they're covering up their hate crimes they committed against me, by the way, in which they only called me religious for teaching uh, the true gospel, by the way, uh, of freedom, by the way, of truth um, against their evil lies that imprisons people. Okay. So the thing is, is just that um, they were irreligious. Uh, yes, they did call condemn Jesus as a legalistic and religious because I taught them that Jesus said, those who do not keep the commandments, um, do not love me. Um, so yes, those who identify as true Christians, such as us, and I no, not relation to any of these churches. None of these churches are Christian, by the way, and they can quote the scriptures and do all these things, but their main doctrines are a blasphemous and against Christianity, by the way. So, um, um, I am, um, so they're slandering what religion is when, um, uh, and claiming that the Pharisees are, re were religious leaders. No, they were not. Jesus spoke against them as being irreligious, evil people against the laws of God. Um, they did not attack me for any wrong that I did. They did not attack me for any sins that I committed. They attacked me and persecuted me, committed hate crimes against me for teaching the true gospel and against their false version of salvation salvation. So even though they tried to even read the Bible passage I used against them, they still continue with their false version of salvation, uh, which does not save you. Okay. I'm um, saying Jesus come to my heart. Um, and if you believe it, they twist a passage from Romans. 
um and that's all they do uh like i said they go behind their on their stage and, and uh, whatever and pretend as their eyes speak against them twisting it and prove that they're twisting and perverting it they also sit there and pretend that they're um, speaking against twisting the bible and flipping backwards he says he hates the spirit of religion why because the spirit of religion is anything that is righteous against sin they love their sin because what sin does is murder their sins are oppressing and murdering people they have their false rules against the laws of god so they can try to void out the laws of god okay and refuse the true gospel why because their rules is no judging no gossiping no criticizing no finding fault they brand people as negative, which is a child molester tactic, by the way, um, used by pedophiles to brand their victims of abuse as negative for anybody who speaks the holy truth against their evil. Okay. Um, so they, if you speak against their heinous crimes or committing against people, they will sit there and say, if you don't forgive, neither will God forgive you. They're not talking about God. They're not um, talking about for forgiveness. But if I'm giving the truth, I am given by God. I'm given the things by God. And that is God forgiving me. That's forgiving, not basically, oh, because I committed a sin or something. Um, but, and I am forgiving to the next person the truth. Okay. So, um, the things that are in me, um, um, that God gave to me to give to them. They are persecuting me for it and committing hate crimes against me because of the Holy Spirit in me that I speak against them. They make up their own rules. They pervert the Bible like a child molester. Okay. They feed the egos of people and claim that you're saved or whatever. If you, if you had Jesus come into your heart, not only that, they're attacking our children. That would be everybody's children. And yes, they were the ones, those children just to let you know that, but they are willfully committing evil. Okay, but the thing is, is just that when they're sitting there and you go to innocent children and sitting there saying that, oh, you need to be saved. You got to ask Jesus to come into your heart or you're not saved. That's telling them if you don't um, claim their false version of Jesus, by the way, their false version claim. If you don't claim Jesus that you're going to hell, this is not true whatsoever. Jesus only came for the loss. So if a child is innocent and not living a life of like wickedness and evil and practicing um um, evil, um, there's no reason to basically, um, well, actually, the, it was Jesus who actually guided people to see God, by the way. So if they never hear Jesus, no, you're not going to hell either. Okay. So, um, they sit there and talk about watered down Jesus. They're they're trying to drown Jesus. They sit there drowning Jesus in their false baptisms. By the way, their baptisms are false. When they're they're baptizing like five year olds to accept to get them to echo their lies and their false doctrines, and claim that they're going to hell if they if they don't um, accept Jesus and claim Jesus is God or um, that Jesus died on the cross for their sins so they can be saved. Um, they are twisting the gospel. Um, they are causing children and misleading children to be lost so um the thing is is just that they have false their 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 false miracles or false healings or false catching casting out demons they are using liars for this to perform in their superficial false um 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 whatever uh, circus um performer so unless you desire righteousness you hate jesus that's the bottom line so they're calling their lies the truth is what they're doing okay the prophet isaiah spoke against them and you know what when i said that to another false pastor um um uh frank apolito they call evil good and good evil Spoken by the prophet Isaiah, they sat there and um, copied the, those passages, a number of these churches or whatever who are persecuting me, copied those passages and still do the same thing and continue in their lies. It, the, the, it's, 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 righteousness is not something you sit there and have to just jump into and receive like all these things. It all happens to speaking the truth and who, you, where you are and the truth between you okay, and your neighbor and who you are to other people. But when you're lying, there's no lies in love. That was originated in me and, and a word of seed that was put in me against all these people. So God can show me that every time you people claim you're speaking of love, 
And because you accept each other, you hug each other, you do all these things. Therefore, you're loving people because you claim you're loving people. Okay, but you're lying to everybody and deceiving everybody and keeping people in the prison of your lies. So, um, you, 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 you're taking advantage, you keep, you're taking advantage of ignorant people who are kept ignorant. You continue to keep them spiritually blind and ignorant. And you're a liar. Your desire is the evil of the devil. Who you're calling, falsely calling Jesus. I don't need a backwashed Jesus. I don't need a limp-wristed Jesus. I don't need a Jesus that power. What's a limp-wristed Jesus? What's that supposed to mean? A limp-wristed Jesus? Because this is the spirit of religion. You're a liar. You're persecuting. You're raping people. By the way, they're 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 doing this over and over because they slandered me for preaching the true gospel. For having the spirit of the religion of Jesus Christ. He's flipping things backwards and he's mind raping people. He hates Jesus because Jesus called them evil because they were evil. I don't need a Mickey Mouse religious Bible. Or your thoughts Just wanted to let you know they put on these little, I spoke against them putting on these Disney uh, stage performances or whatever to entertain people um, and bringing all these, spending extravagant amounts of money on costumes for Disney characters or whatever um, in their church. Jesus. You know their man made mean? false church. I need the Jesus of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's what I need. I need the Jesus in the book of Acts that was raising the dead. Apostles raising the dead, healing the sick. He desires a false version of Jesus. What he desires is to have superpowers like the DC comic Superman and all these people is what he desires to have power over people. That's what he desires. And he won't get it. An evil generation seeks for a sign and it will not be given to you. Is there is 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 the, is the word of God against the sign and wonders and miracles? No, but that's what they want to seek first. They want to that power, and they want that power of the flesh to have these uh, fantasy human superpowers. They're playing Superman. Okay, and people can sit there and say, "Well, if Jesus had all these superpowers, wasn't he a Superman?" We're talking about the DC comic, whatever, uh, Superman. We're talking about, <laughs> I don't even know, all these uh, uh, mythical characters, I guess, if you will. Okay? Mythical characters. I want the miracle signs and wonders. I want transformation. Man, you want to kick the devil in the teeth? Let transformation happen in your life. Let revival hit your household. Let your children be on fire for God. So, um, it's really sad that they're, they're, they're using people who basically falsely claim that their child was raised for the dead to get attention for themselves, that God is blessing is over, over them because of their faith and things like that, while children are, are, are dying. They made up a lie that they were raised from the dead by the Holy Spirit, and they never even, the child never even died, by the way. The, the officer revived them um, when they turned them over or whatever, uh, when they drowned. And I just want you to know that they drowned because, well, uh, the child was neglected. They should have been charged with neglect. So, um, that would be, okay, we're just going to actually, yeah, that's right. <sighs> Miracle loading, because she actually keeps changing her story. She keeps changing her story and is a liar. Um, hold on a second. So, She's trying to get attention as she's changing the story and um, making up all these lies and claim that her child died. Her child did not die. Her child was not breathing because uh, they neglected their child, so their child drowned, by the way. So, um, um, 
And uh, so they use an excuse and using God's name in vain to sit there and cover it all up and basically he's claiming that God's blessing is on them and, and all these things or whatever and uh, 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 and raise their child from the dead. Um, this is actually not true. The child never died. So um, the child was never pronounced dead. So um, they're lying. Um, so they're using them as basically an attraction. So what they're doing as they're sitting there desiring all these things, they're desiring like witchcraft. They're desiring sorcery. It is kind of like the sorcerers who basically threw their um, staff down and turned into serpents. So uh, the, the power of God by Moses like met that to over uh, to make it nothing and swallow their 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 their, their serpents up or whatever. So um, uh, just being against that is is the word of God and all and all these um, things that happen. And is it sorcery and all these other things? It's just like it's something that to go against what sorcery is. <clears throat> it was not used for um uh, for entertainment. So um the thing is, is they are scamming people. They are hustling people out of money. They're basically, you know, claiming that oh, they're of faith. Oh, because uh um this this so called miracle happened, and but they're lying. That's what they're doing. They're lying, and um. So it's really sad. Um, they do not desire. They're, they're desiring superpowers is what they're desiring to see something like they have to see something like um, extraordinary that happens. They can't understand. cannot see the extraordinary gift of God and love or whatever the gift of love. They can't. They will sit there and claim those things. But they don't practice those things. Okay? And they're taking advantage of a people, a nation who is kept ignorant by who? The irreligious churches falsely claiming to re be religious. They're liars. And the thing is, Tony Cotto, like his uh, cult leader, Ralph Snook, which he desired, his greed, his lies, his scamming, um... His um, indulgence of like feast and all these other things or whatever, um, and laziness and to be served. They'll sit there when I sit there. Uh, I said that before. You know, uh, uh, the the um, son of man did not come to um, be served, but to serve. So they even refused me even rights in the call any Christ call um, services um, in hospitals for serious injuries or um, being refused my rights um, by police when crimes were committed against me while they were sitting there trying to quote a misquote and misinterpret and twist that Bible passage, um, refused me my rights and services because I'm Christian. They told me if I'm Christian, I'll surrender my rights. This was Pentecostals and Chestnut Assembly. They're false men. They're so Jason Paul, um, I'm sorry, Jason Scalzi. Uh, Jason Scalzi, they use um, to basically have me arrested um, falsely for nothing I did for reporting their crimes. Um, and uh, yeah, they, they, they basically warred against me, committed hate crimes against me, and would not file a report or report um, the crimes they were committing against me. And we're quoting um, we don't wrestle against Flesh and blood, uh, against flesh and blood, blood, and and told me I'm not Christian for basically speaking against the heinous crimes they were committing against me and persecuting me and committing hate crimes against me. So and call me religious, by the way, for correcting them and correcting them by the knowledge of God against their false knowledge, by the way. So um, and then like I said, perverting our Bible, saying, oh, if you don't forgive, and neither will God forgive you. Um, I'm 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 given. Uh, the things of God. So, um, um, the thing is, is, um, you just can't be forgiven because you don't accept, okay, what I'm giving to you, which is the truth. So you can't be forgiven. So, um, if they basically call people any prideful, haughty, and arrogant, um, um, twisting Bible said God's resist the proud or whatever, uh, while they are asserting their own false opinion, why I speak by the, the word of God against them. And this is what they will quote or whatever, and, and try to pit the word of God against the word of God. And the word of God is not against the word of God. Um, and the thing is those who basically receive, uh, wisdom and understanding, which I have, uh, by the Holy spirit of God, um, are the ones because I am humble. Um, and they basically said that I'm not humble because, well, for being right 
if I'm right, it's because I am of the righteousness of God. Um, so, and anything that is right and the right, the, the rightful truth is the authority of God. So they're going around claiming that they, that they're the authority of God. Do they have authority of God in them? Oh yeah. All I have to do is all they have to do is seek tri Christ. I'm sorry, Christ. And, uh, that would be, well, the, the, the evidence of the Holy spirit of that would be God's infinite wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, not their gibber speech, which is nothing but sorcery, witchcraft, deception, okay, and twisting what uh, tongues is, by the way, um, and because it does not edify, does not sanctify, um, and if you don't feed their ego, and if you speak against their evils, they're like, oh, well, your word's not true because it does not edify us, while they mistake edify for... Um, um, feeding their ego and praising and giving them praise, by the way. So the thing is, is this is how they pervert our scriptures. Um, and the thing is, they don't get that prophecy, by the way, judges. And if you are the church, it will edify the church because it'll build and make the church stronger. You reject it because you're not the church. As you falsely claim to be, you are an illusion and you are the, the kingdom of the devil. You are the very of the kingdom. You are the kingdom of the devil, the very kingdom that Jesus rejected, which he had to be tempted um, for to see if he would reject the kingdom of God for the kingdom of the world ruled by the devil, which you are ruled by. Okay. You are servants of the devil. Okay. And yes, Jesus did call you evil. Okay. And you are evil and you will not be saved until you repent. Why are you sitting there call repentant against all these other worldly things or whatever, like drugs, uh, uh, sex and abuse of sex and all these other things or whatever. You're promoting the evil. First of all, um, you're justifying, uh, evil and you're just exchanging one evil for another. So, um, so if they don't do those things, but they'll sit there and they're, they're murdering society. They're keeping ignorant, uh, the, 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 the people in society. And this is why this I see is destroying itself because of any Christ false leaders like yourself and getting the people to sit there and, and pretend to speak against their false uh, uh, prophets and false teachers. Why you people are the false teachers and false prophets. You are liars. You're nothing but scam artists. You're hustlers. You're thieves. And um, unless you repent, you will go to hell. Rather, no matter how times you claim Jesus. Now everybody says to me, Lord, Lord, enter the kingdom of God, but those who do the will of my Father in heaven.